Hi guys, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Simply Shen and Re. And it's only me, Re, here today as Shen is busy on the clock. So today I'm going to share with you my five tips that I use whenever I'm getting ready to Christmas shop. As you guys know, 2020 has been a year of challenges for everybody's wallet. So these are my five tips how I Christmas shop on a budget so if you want to see my five tips stay tuned and don't forget to like comment and subscribe so if you're like me who leaves all of your christmas shoppings to the very last minute you tend to spend a little bit more than what you've bargained for so these are my five tips as i said that um, can help you save a little bit more money and be a little bit more organized when you're getting ready to shop. As everyone knows, today is Thanksgiving, hopefully when this video goes out. And happy Thanksgiving to all of my American subbies and to my granny. But over here in the UK, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but we do take advantage of Black Friday and Cyber Monday. But anyway, that's another topic. So jumping straight into the video, tip number one that I have for you guys is to make a list of everything that you need to get for your gifts and everyone who you're buying gifts for. So you need to really sit down and think about who you're actually going to be gifting for, for Christmas. So like for me, my list is a very short because once you pass the age of 18, you're not getting anything from me unless you're my mama and you're my grandmother. That's about it. But make sure that your list is detailed with everyone who you're going to be purchasing gifts for, all of your secret centers if you have those at work, and then all of the miscellaneous items such as your gift wrap, your tape, your bows, gift uh, Christmas cards, anything like that. So make a list of everything that you need to buy. That's tip number one, to be organized with whom you're buying for and what you're actually buying. So tip number two, now that we have our list, is to actually set a realistic budget of the money that you're actually going to spend to suit your wallet. Cause <laughs> I know 2020, mm, has damaged wallets. I'm not sure if they're ever coming back. Wallets, purses, yeah, we're in a recession and 99.9 .9 of us are broke. So make a realistic budget that you can actually afford. With everyone's name that you have, put uh, the gift idea that you have next to it and then put a price amount on it to see that if you can afford it. Do not go spending money that you do not have to impress anyone, okay? Make a realistic budget and stick to that budget. So that's number two, make a realistic budget. So the third, <laughs> the third tip that I have for you guys is to actually look for discounts. While you have the Black Friday sale coming up and Cyber Monday coming up, there are some good deals that will be happening. But after those days have passed, check the stores that you do want to shop at to buy your gifts at. Because some companies do run better deals site-wide than you would find on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And guys, here's a little tip. Don't add anything that you know that you weren't going to buy because then it's not going to be a sale. So if your budget was 200 pounds and you say, mmm, Look at this lipstick. Mm, look at that belt. Mm, look at those pair of shoes. You're not being realistic. You're not sticking to your budget. So look for discounts only for the things that you want to gift for other persons or if you have a gift for yourself in mind and stick to that. And tip number four that I have, this sounds kind of weird coming from me because I'm a last minute shopper. I'm that person who will shop on Christmas Eve to see if I can get all of the gifts. But what you can do, you can actually shop early to get the best deals and get everything tied away and squared away if you have to ship anything out or if you have to mail it to make sure that 
the person that's intent who the gift is intended for makes it at a reasonable time that they do have it on Christmas Day and when you do shop early you do get a lot of early bird specials as well um, most companies do offer like up to 50 to 40 percent off um, on their site wide that you can find those deals when you shop a bit early. And tip number five that I have for you guys is to use cash back sites so that you can reclaim some of that money <laughs> that you're shelling out. Here in the UK, you can use Honey on your browser extension and it finds you the best deals, um, saving you even a couple more bucks. In the US, you have Ebates, but you guys can just uh, find what cashback sites are available in your country, in your neck of the woods. Also, if your bank offers you cash back, you can also use the cashback website along with using your card that offers you cash back. And now most cards, most bank cards, well for us here in the UK, they're offering cash back on certain websites. So check your bank to see what you can get cash back on before you go and buy. And yeah, those are my five tips that I use um, whenever I'm getting ready to Christmas um, shop and especially on a budget because I am on a very tight budget and everything that I've said is realistic. Uh, you just have to plan who you're buying for, set your budget, look for discounts, shop early if you can, and look for cashback websites and check your bank account, check your bank um, to see if they do offer cash back on certain things. Yeah, and everyone have a good holiday season and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.